This is the smallest zombies map ever made and it's a ton of fun, but nobody ever talks about it anymore. So today we're gonna play it and reminisce on one of my favorite experiences in zombies ever. Oh, here we are. Okay, grossed in the house. So if you're not familiar with what this is, this is the survival map that came with Call of Duty World War II. Oh, they're running already. Okay, that was fast. Okay, first, first kill of the game. We gotta drop the spawn outside. Are you serious? I did make one video on this game before, like a year ago maybe, but World War II Zombies is kind of like my guilty pleasure. That's how I would describe it. It's like, yeah, I know it's not exactly a good or a great game, but I'd be lying if I didn't say that I find it fun and I play it a decent amount. I and mean, look at this, this thing is just here. Creepy. Hello. Goodbye. That's gross. <laughs> so this little house, it's a farmhouse, it's basically part of the prologue. It kind of just exists to teach you how to play the game, and they made it into a bonus survival map if you beat the Easter egg quest on the final Reich, the main map of the game. You unlock this one to play for fun, and I love this. I think it's a great reward. I understand that, you know, maybe gating a whole map behind an Easter egg quest probably isn't the most, you know, player friendly. So this map is pretty small, but there are a couple Easter eggs on it. First of all, you can get a Pack-a-Punch machine if you find these lanterns and shoot them. You get this purple glow, like purple orb inside of it. Hello. So you need to find all these lanterns and shoot them. I remember where most of them are, I think. Oh, I'm getting overwhelmed. Hold up. I probably should get a gun. Ooh, insta-kill. Uh, there's one outside here. Yes, there is. There's one here. Here. And right there. One of the creepy things about this game, the zombies actually talk. Or they try and talk. They really didn't do that in any other games. I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Here's another one. Here's another one. Uh, okay, there's one right here. Is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. So now we got the mystery box unlocked. Sweet. And what did we get? We got a Lee Enfield. Okay, not the best. The way perks work on this map is there's literally just one machine and it's a random perk machine. And the one thing about it that's different than like a Wonder Fizz is you can't pick your perk. You know, with a Wonder Fizz, you can look at it and see what it is and choose if you want it. Uh, with this thing here, you cannot choose if you want it or not. You just have to take it. <laughs> so you don't really have a choice. I'm kind of getting overwhelmed. There we go. We got a nuke. Sweet. So if we just get a random perk here for two grand. Oh, okay, we got stamina. up. That is not... Uh, not the best, you know. This isn't really a runny map. Let's see if we can't get a gun though. Oh, 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 Jack in the Box, sweet. So in case you don't know, you actually need Jack in the Boxes on this map because in order to do the other side quest, you need to throw Jack in the Boxes in a certain spot. So it's really bizarre and I don't know if there's like a, a reason why you do this, but what you do is you take your Jack in the Box and you throw it up here. I don't know the button. So you take your Jack in the Box, you throw it up here on the mantle, specifically right there. And then it'll just blow up right there. And you think you've done nothing, but now if you go to this piano here and what you need to do is hold F on the piano when you get 10,000 points. And once you do that, it's insane. Once you do that, it'll take, you know, your 10,000 points and then it will make every gun in the mystery box pack a punched. So I always thought that was really cool. It's like a way for you to you know, keep helping yourself survive on this super tiny map. Let's go ahead and grab another perk here. What are we going to get? Uh, is that cherry? No, that's speed cola. So I chose to make a video on this today because I love survival maps and zombies. I think they are an extremely integral part of like the core zombies experience. And I think that recently like Treyarch have really just kind of been slacking in that department because you've seen it before so let's take a look back to other games so you typically have i'm gonna die here hold on let me grab an mp40 oh man oh max ammo that's sweet oh yeah look at this so there's actually a delay on how you can get your perks you have to like wait for a little bit so you can't just like spam the the perk machine i just thought that was kind of cool it was interesting you know you couldn't just blow your load so to speak we got a blunderbuss I have no idea if this thing is like gonna be helpful at all, but okay. But yeah, that juxtaposition between a survival map and then a bigger zombies map. What I like to do actually is I call the big maps like a zombies experience, and then I call the survival maps like a zombies map. Like this, this is just a zombies map. It is a, a level for you to shoot zombies on, right? Plain and simple. 
there's really no story to it. There's a couple... I'm stuck on the wall. <laughs> there's a couple side quests, but nothing crazy, right? Let me throw a grenade over there. There we go. Can I get another one now? Yes, I can. What are we going to get? Okay, we got quick revive. That's actually good, you know, in case I die. And yeah, obviously this map fulfills the role of that zombies map. And then the final right fulfills the role of the zombies experience. If you look at Black Ops 2, Transit is the zombies experience. Town, Farm, and Bus Depot are the zombies maps. Black Ops 3, right? Shadows of Evil, zombies experience. The Giant, zombies map. Black Ops 4, it gets a little more complicated just because everything in Black Ops 4 is insanely complicated. But if you look at like launch, right? 9 and classified are really, you know, zombies maps. They're pretty basic. The core setup of the maps are really simple. Casuals can get into it fairly easily. I have this uh, like rare skin for my MP40. It's called the Wunderwaffe. It's pretty cool. And they kind of just have done away with that recently. You know, Cold War did not have any mechanic like that. Sure, it had dead ops, but I don't think dead ops really counts just because it's not traditional like zombies. Oh, here we go. So these are whistlings, or maybe they would be whistlings, I guess. And they, uh, <laughs> they are kind of a threat. Oh, it's insta kill. Hold up. Sorry, not not insta kill. I gotta be I gotta be accurate. My name's it's uh Toten Griff. There you go. I do actually plan to make a like a bigger, more like a, a video essay style video talking about the balance, the juxtaposition, if you will, between survival maps and experience maps. But I thought for now I would just, you know, give like a little just a little, you know, taste, I guess. Oh, get off me, get off me, get off me. Oh, I'm losing armor. Okay, so we have our 10 grand here. Let's go ahead. There we go. We spend 10 grand on that. And then if we hit the box here, we should... Okay, I need ammo. <laughs> I'm gonna die. We should be getting a packed gun here. Yep, there we go. It's got the pack-a-punch camo on it. Pretty, pretty cool little Easter egg. Cannot lie. We should get our last perk here too, probably. Actually, maybe I should wait because I'm probably gonna get it swarmed. Now let's grab that last perk. What are we gonna get here? um more melee damage okay that's not great i really didn't need that i'm pretty sure the perk for more melee damage falls off at like round like 16 or something like that so it, i really like that's just not helpful the one that gives you more bullet damage would have been way better or like electric cherry or something what the hell just happened i have no whoa what's going on with you dude <laughs> I have no idea what just happened up there. That was like a fire flames thing? I've never seen that before. I have like 300 hours on this game. I've never seen that before. Whoa, I did it again. What? Maybe I'm just like high. <laughs> just kidding. Not do drugs. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, get away from me. Man, this map is intense. Like this literally, quite literally, is like the smallest zombies map they've ever made. You know, like, not counting custom maps. Oh, we're stuck, we're stuck, we're stuck. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, the big ones can move. <laughs> and the rough thing about this map is there is no uh, pause between rounds. So it's basically just a continuous just horde of zombies. They just, like, don't stop. Complete opposite of, like, Nocturne and Toten, where all the zombies are, like, super slow and stuff. Nah, and here they they are fast and they will they will get your ass. Super, super chaotic and hectic. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> okay. Come on. Nope, that's not it. Actually, I think I have an LMG guarantee, don't I? Okay, I think I used it. I should be able to get one now. Uh, oh, don't hurt me. Yep, there we go. We got a bone saw. Okay. We have three LMGs now. We have an MG42. We have this big thing, and then we have this other big thing that I don't know what they are. This ability I've got going that makes them all purple. I mean, it's basically the original Ring of Fire. I made a video on it like a year, year and a half ago. I don't remember. It was a long time ago. But I mean, it's basically the OG Ring of Fire. It makes you do triple damage to the zombies. Except you don't actually have a ring to stand in. It's just every zombie. I think it, it's kind of like Frenzied Guard. It makes all the zombies target you. But you do triple damage to all of them. And it's, it's crazy. It works super, super well. Oh. Why are you blowing up? I don't understand. Wait, right, does this gun set zombies on fire? It seems like these guns have like elemental effects that I am completely unaware of. Oh, was that a drop up there? Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. How did I not get hit there? Holy crap. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't know why they're blowing up, but it's hilarious. I love it. The only thing is, I don't think there's a wonder weapon you can get on this map. Which kind of, kind of sucks. Like, I don't think you can pick up, like, the Tesla gun from the box. I got a thunderbuss. I'm not taking the blunderbuss, I'm gonna be honest. Sorry. Oh, back off. Get away from me. But yeah, they really need to bring back more survival maps like this. Honestly, I'm so upset that they didn't do it in Cold War. Like, they teased it so much with, like, Nocturne and Toten. Like, in Forsaken, the cinema, it says, Coming soon, Nocturne and Toten. And then you can do the World at War arcade that just literally puts you in Nocturne and Toten. And Nocturne and Toten is in D Machina. Like, there's, they had, like, three separate opportunities right there where they were, like, totally, like, yeah, teasing, like, adding Nox. Because, like, it's already in the game. Just, like, put some barriers up, stick up some wall weapons, put up Wonder Fizz in there, and call it a day, dude. Like, just, just drop the map, please. Having that extra survival map to play makes the world of difference. Like, if this game didn't have Groston House, I wouldn't like it as much as I did. Or if it didn't have the other survival maps that came out with, like, DLC 3 or whatever. I mean, I would still like it because uh, I think the Final Reich is an amazing map and I think it's super underrated. I would actually say one of the most underrated maps of all time probably is the Final Reich. The Final Reich was an... Um, I'm dying to a crawler. Hold on. <laughs> Final Reich was an amazing map. It innovated so much and did so many cool things and it kind of just doesn't really get the recognition for it. Granted, yeah, like, the, the World War II DLC maps weren't very great. Ooh, max ammo. Uh, I'm gonna throw my Jack in the Boxes. I love Jack in the Boxes. They're, like, the perfect creepy version of a monkey. Look at that. I'm pretty sure there is a bigger boss on this map. It's the Brenner. That's the big flamethrower guy from the Final Reich. But I think... I don't think he spawns in until... It might be 25. And uh, he makes this map an absolute living hell. <laughs> he is way too big and chunky, and that flamethrower will absolutely kill you on this tiny ass map. Ooh, I'm getting caught. Hold up. Oh man, I'm trying to like run a train in here, but it's tough. Oh shoot. Oh no, we're gonna die. Oh shit, we went down. I am stuck. I am stuck. I cannot move. Okay, I <laughs> just lost all my armor right there. Every time you buy armor, it goes up by 500 points, but we don't really have many points to spend, so it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, how did I not get hit there? Oh, I spoke too soon. <laughs> okay. Ow. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was close. That was close. Uh, I'm going to throw a Jack in the Box because I'm kind of getting overwhelmed right now. Ooh, oh, 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 uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 please. No. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Oh, that was close. That was close. I have no idea how I'm still alive, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I'm gonna throw another Jack in the Box. I, I really wish this this game just had some sort of like ray gun or something. That is one of the problems I have with it. There isn't that like iconic wonder weapon for this game. Sure, there's the Tesla gun from the Final Reich, which is okay. But like, it's not on this map. It's, I don't know. It's not like in the box, you have to build it. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of annoying. I just wish the game had that ray gun equivalent that was in the box on every map or something like that. This, uh, this ring of fire thing is really, like, what's been saving my ass the entire game. It's actually so overpowered. It's, like, the only way to get to high rounds on this map. Oh, give me that insta kill, give me that insta kill. Why is everything blowing up? I don't understand. Oh, oh, uh oh, we're out of shield. Shield, shield is gone. Shield is gone, though. We went down. Okay. I'm running out of points. Look at this. That cost me 10 grand to get that. That armor is getting really expensive and it's definitely gonna, I'm gonna stop being able to like afford that pretty soon here. Oh, oh no, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, no. Oh yeah, it's over. I think I'm out of quick revives, aren't I? Oh, it's still resetting. I can't even get a new perk back. I died that fast. Uh oh, it's over. Let's throw a monkey. Oh shit, I died.